Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode on the Doctor and Autism series. Today uh, I'm joined with Kyle and, and Chandler who, who have both been on this series already. Um, it's going to be a nice chat with Doctor and Autism again with you guys. And yeah, welcome back um, both of you. Yeah, thank you. It's good to be back. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's going to be nice to chat Doctor Who again with you guys. And, and yeah, um, um, I'm speaking actually... Um, as we're recording this, of course, when it goes out, it won't be the case. But as we're recording yeah. this, Carl, your episode came out today. So, oh yeah, I actually watched early yeah. on. I yeah. was like, yeah, yeah. You watched it, did you? Yeah, I was watching early on when I was doing some housework. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think about watching back? Um, it's definitely intriguing to watch yourself back. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, it was like good to watch and see how everything turned out. And it's like really good. To just like watch it all and just like oh yeah i'm about to be talked about this and that and that's like <laughs> lovely yeah yeah it doesn't seem that long ago really does it no yeah we were talking about going to cardiff i think like mm. me going to cardiff anyway yeah. but yeah but <laughs> yeah. yeah i go to cardiff all the time <laughs> yeah yeah well yeah so to start with carl if i could go to you if you just want to introduce yourself again i am carl i'm 23 i've autism i'm obsessive doctor who <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think we all were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, what about you, Chandler? Introduce yourself. Yep. Hi, guys. My name is Chandler. I'm 24 years old from England and I'm autistic and a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The uh, the autistic YouTuber as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. If we start off with, because um, this, as recording, this will be my second episode I've done since um, Bernie Cribbins passed, uh, like, yeah. like the other day. Like, yeah. how, how, how you guys been since he, uh, since then? Crying the river. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, yeah, it was just like really sad news to hear stuff like that, because, you know, such his character referred in the show with such a touch. Like hot woman character, and was sad he was gone and stuff like that. Yeah, look over the stars and think of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really. It, I I've watched that clip so many times, mm. like now, and it's it's really true because you, like, I did a couple of photos outside to, like, uh, and and a couple of videos, like to just to to remember him by and like, it. it it's a, it's his face you know when you see that scene and his face um <laughs> like it, like it's like um he's really um i don't know it, genuine isn't he like how he says that yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. how about you chanda how you been doing uh doing okay hearing the news about the actor dying as well uh very sad to hear it was because obviously as they never say it is it is hard to see one of your own favourite actors to when they pass away it's quite it's kind of sad to see because you treat them as if like you're, you're one of the family members almost like a close friend hmm. right? so it, it, is, it is sad yeah but, yeah, it's, yeah, it's quite sad. Um, but um, hopefully, um, well, he, he was 93 and like, um, he didn't look that old, really. Yeah, because like, he didn't look that day over the age I first saw him. No, he, he did, kept, did he? He didn't, he didn't look like he aged like that many years. He looked more or less the same. I think he might have been in his eighties, like when he was when he filmed. Um, yeah, yeah. I late thought he 70s. would be in his sixties, to be honest. I think he might be in his late seventies at the very yeah. most. Yeah, yeah, because was, about fifteen yeah. years ago or something, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. Two thousand and seven, two thousand seventeen. That'd be ten years. Yeah, yeah. So it would have been about then. Yeah, it, it's mm. it's. 
like I think that's what happens when you're a natural, I suppose, because you a pop producer too, like you don't they wouldn't look that old. Yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah. But um but yeah, like he he's done some scenes for the sixtieth, so hopefully they do keep going. Yeah. No, yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Like, did he manage to finish like what he needed to finish before he passed away? Where we get a bit more Wilford as a final message. I, I think they did because that they moved on, didn't they, to do the thing with um, Neil Patrick Harris, and I think that kind of stuff was without Wilfred. Yeah, um, and I think I think he 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 would have done. I think his part were in um, when they did it in London. I think. Well, um. But yeah, it's it's all gonna be it's all sad. But if we do see him on screen, I think everyone will cry. Yeah, no, definitely. I I I've. I mean, I've I think I feel in a similar thing where like I'm a Marvel fan. When I see Stanley on screen, I get a bit teary eyed. I feel like I'm gonna get the same reaction as he will for on screen again, knowing he's passed away and get a bit teary eyed, knowing I count uh, and yeah. act. will be the last thing I see him in. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's gonna be an interesting one. Yeah, to, to to see what happens and like I I think like t- towards the end of the episode we'll see um maybe like it will say like in memory of Bernie yeah Griffiths. that's what yeah. I'm thinking in memory yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's what they normally do like um like they've done, I think they've done that in the past in Doctor Who if if an actor's been in there and they're, and they're 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 doing it for them or they've yeah. been been in there we'll normally say that. Um, because as much as I would love it in the Doctor Who, a funeral to to do like with his death, but if they've already filmed the scenes, and of yeah. course they're not going to know he died in Doctor Who, so um, mm. as much as I would love it, a funeral with like the Doctor, Catherine Tay, or, or, yeah. or, or I'm not sure that will happen because it's Doctor Who's like a sci fi program, and um, although they yeah. have done funerals before, but but yeah, it might just be better to do it right at the end of the episode. Yeah, I think they might do maybe something like special, like when Sarah Jane's actor passed away, we've had a like lovely like little send off message at the end of the show. I think maybe we might get something like uh, for Wilfred's, in yeah. the same sense maybe. Yeah, <laughs> like I know Wilfred, he wasn't in awfully a lot of episodes, but the, it was yeah. it, it was like. He, he was, was in more than he was. Yeah, he was a key part of Donna's like story and stuff like that. Well, yeah. and David's um finals regen- for his regeneration story as well, a very key part in his regeneration. Yeah, he he was there right at the end, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So, your favorite Doctor is um Matt Smith, isn't it? Um, Carl. Ah, uh, yeah. Personally, I love Matt the most because he's most relatable to me. Yeah. <laughs> And Chanda, do you have a favourite Doctor? Mm, probably Christopher Eccleston. Oh, yeah. yeah. Doctor. <laughs> yeah. Because of his humour. Of his humour. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, Christopher's brilliant. I, wish, I said this last time, I wish we had more than one season with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, he, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, every time I see him in 28 Days Later, all I can ever think of him as is the night of Doctor. Yeah, you do that with certain actors, don't you? You see him in as a certain role, and you see him in anything else, you can't shake him out of that certain role. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it is like that, isn't it? Like... I suppose if you saw Matt Smith in another program, like you'll think, look, that's the doctor there. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I finally did see Morbius. And the thing is, there was two little references to the doctor in there. What was that? What, what was that? And one of them is, how would you would you paint from one to ten? And he goes, eleven. Oh, does he? And then there's a scene where he's on a camera and he says, that's not a doctor. Because the main character, Mike Morris, is a doctor, but you see Matt's character. So I think those are two little references to the doctor there. At least I count them as references. Like, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's quite good. Like, like <laughs> this month, August, mm. is um, what they got with House of Dragons. Like, uh, Matt Smith is going to be in that as well. 
like Game of Thrones. So it, it, is it interesting just to, to see the things that actors are in who yeah. play the Doctor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, because like, what's it, Cowan Gillen, like Peter Capaldi, David Tennant, I've seen him in plenty of other things other than Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen every Doctor incarnation up to for the ninth Doctor onwards in someone else. Yeah. Not just the Doctor, um, Doctor Who. So it, it's good because um, you've got David Tennant. Um, it's hard to name how many things he's been in because he's. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. He's in a, a lot of things. Yeah. I know. Like Kilgrave and Marvels, um, Jessica Jones, she plays Scrooge McDuck and DuckTales and stuff like that. Um, I forgot the name of the character in Goblet of Fire, and I was, I'm drawing a blank about that character as well. <laughs> Probably a few yeah. other things out there I've God, watched. The God Omens, I think he was in. Yeah, 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 of course. I don't forget that one. That's such yeah. a good show as well. Yeah, Good Omens. It's a good yeah. one. Yeah, he was in that one. Um, mm. He was in um, Broadchurch Ooh. as well. Um, like Ma- Matt Smith, he was in Morbius. Um, oh, he was in the um, the one song. I'm not sure if it was with Jenna Coleman, but I'm not sure if they were both in it. But it, it was that it was that um, that Queen kind of series on Netflix. Oh yeah, I think Jenna was in it. I don't know about Matt though. Yeah, I think yeah. they were in similar shows. Mm. Um. Yeah, I've, I've seen Jenna Coleman and other stuff. Um, who else? Uh, like we said, Amy, um, Karen. I've seen Rory, Arthur. In, oh, yeah. I've seen... Um, stuff. I think the only other thing I know him from is Ledger of Tomorrow, which is a DC show. I, he, he was in Broadchurch as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, do, you remember the, do you remember the episode School Reunion? Yeah. Classic one. Do you remember the villain? Um, yeah, the headmaster. Yeah, he yeah. was in Merlin. Merlin. I never watched the show in full. I've seen episodes here and there, so... <laughs> yeah, he played the villain in there as well. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> or stick to the villain role, I guess, then. Uh, yeah. No, not the... Of course he's not the head teacher. Uh, yeah, but he's uh, some kind of villain yeah. of some sort, yeah. yeah. It's quite funny, though, because it, when he dies, then he comes back later on as a ghost. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, who else? Um, Bill. I haven't seen it. The actor who plays Bill. I haven't really seen her in anything else. Um, I haven't seen her. Um, I know Yaz plays in Hollyoaks. Or did. <laughs> the actor from Yaz. Um, I only yeah. know that. I don't watch Hollyoaks or anything. Yeah. <laughs> um. Do you guys watch any soaps at all? No. Maybe as a kid with my family when there's like nothing to do but... <laughs> yeah. what as... about you? What about you, Chanta? Do you watch any of it? Uh, de- I definitely didn't watch soaps because they just felt like interesting. Right? <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it seemed like... Yeah. Do, you think, I walk... yeah. do, do you think the soaps are like a, a continuing cycle never ending? I guess it can't be because some of them have been running as long as like well as long as Doctor Who. I think some of them have been. Yeah. Not long. Doctor is not much older, is it? And no. So. Some soaps I know, like maybe I don't which ones exactly, but it's like Coronation Street, The Standers. I don't know what else, but I, I know some of them have been running for decades apparently. Yeah, uh, you yeah, know, I think the long, yeah. I think the longest one that's been going on is Coronation Street. Mm. That is the longest one so far because that's been on since like I think the late sixties. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because um, I I used to watch it. You know, I watched the Stenders at one point, and I I stopped watching that. And the pure mm. reason was like they they spent like a year storyline to find out something, and I got when I found out who it was, I, I, what happened, I I just was really disappointed. So. I decided not to watch it any of it. That's time we went on. Mm. I stopped watching the rest. Like, it would have been EastEnders, then down on Coronation Street, I'd normally watch. But, yeah, I wouldn't go back to any of them. Fair. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we're going up. 
Oh, sorry, got a bit off topic there, but... <laughs> <laughs> but just, it's all right. <laughs> just wondered uh, I, I, if you did or not, but I'm glad we're all in the same boat. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I am... I'm such a nerd, though. I don't watch soaps or dramas or stuff like that. Not unless there's superheroes or sci-fi involved. <laughs> then I'll watch a drama, like The Flash or something like that. <laughs> but I'm sure Jenna Coleman was in uh, Emma Dale at one point. Probably. Yeah. I, like I said, I don't watch. Before Doctor Who. I, even I didn't know that. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, I still wouldn't watch it. I think I know one of the actors who played the Slovene woman. I forgot her, her character. Is it the main? The main one who, woman? the one who was left over and became mayor of Cardiff. Oh yeah, he was in one of the soaps for a while because I remember watching it a lot. Oh yeah, I know who you mean. Going up, she was in one of them. Yeah, same actor there. <laughs> yeah, it probably centers. It yeah, might have been. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's, it's, I think it's closer in it because his senders is in his London and the others aren't like ready, but but yeah, so what are we thinking? Like, since we last did it, uh, I don't think we knew about David Taylor and, and Catherine Tate, did we, Carl? I no, I think no, we did. We talked, did we? we that was when the pictures, I was, I think that was the first week when the leaks started getting through. I think we were talking about like the. I think we were talking about specifically like the sixth anniversary and the pictures were leaked at the time, I think. Yeah, and yeah, so so they were leaked, but now we know they're real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um and Chandler did, I felt we we, we would have known by then, wouldn't we? About David Turner and Catherine Tate when we did ours. Yes. Because there was like articles being released where it was showed some pictures of David Turner and like Catherine Tate. Standing in steps, waiting in between filming. Uh, and obviously, it didn't mention about Neil Patrick Harris, uh, which, because we did talk to a little bit about what Neil Patrick Harris also been in. Yeah. Uh, which, <laughs> so yeah, yeah we'll yeah, we definitely have quite a bit to talk about now. Yeah. Yeah, because well, what else has he been in? Oh, um, how you met your mother? The, I never know how to pronounce them properly. Human Kumar movies, they're like sort of like American Pie style comedies. I've seen yeah. them in. Yeah, that's correct. I uh, also voiced Spider Man in Spider Man New Animated Series and in the Shadow Dimensions games as well. Alright. Yeah. yeah. I've never watched anything he's in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he voiced Spider Man at one point before. Well, twice actually, I think. Alright. Yeah. I didn't have a fun fact though. Okay. So, so for Matt Smith, right? He played the 11th Doctor, right? Yeah. Where about to come from? Where about does he come from? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know, Carl, where he comes from? Well, we, we, I think, well, English? Oh, yeah. Like, what area like in in, in the UK, it's, do you think? I definitely it definitely has an English accent because I don't hear any Scottish or Welsh. Me accent. and him both come from the same town. Oh <laughs> wait in North, Northampton. Northampton. Yep. <laughs> nice. And apparently so he also went to the school for boys in Northampton. But we grew up in Northampton and I had aspirations of being a footballer have been played for the youth teams of Northampton Town, Nottingham Forest and Leicester City. After his stint as a time lord, Matt Smith then went on to play royalty as Prince Philip in the big hit of the crown. Mm. Actually, it was in the crown. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was talking about because Jenna Coleman was in a similar thing. I don't yeah. know if it was the same or not, but I think it was someone called Victoria. I don't know. I know. I think she did play a Queen Victoria, but I don't know if, if it was the same show. Yeah, it might have been different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, it, it would have been different. And I think Matt Smith got killed off. I didn't, I, in, in the series he was in, but I, I, I didn't watch it. I only watched mm. the first episode and got bored. Yeah. 
Um, and it worked with Matt Smith, it was just because of the show. Not my type of thing. Yeah. But, uh, but um but yeah, um so with 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 Matt Smith, guys, as this is the topic at the moment with us. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> that, is he do you think um he got a good send off as a doctor? I definitely liked it. I I mean I think his episodes I think he had, like he's deaf there uh, words. <laughs> I definitely think his final episode was definitely one of the best few. My favorite is opening an episode eleven hours after my favorite one, and I think his last one, yeah, from beginning to end, it was definitely a brilliant one. Yeah. So I definitely think he had a brilliant end of episode, yeah. one of the best ones they did for the Martha era for sure as well. Definitely, definitely. Mm. Well, <laughs> do you agree, Chandler? For me. For my decision, I don't think I can just say this. Uh, I don't really, uh, I don't really watch all the episodes of my, my well, of my Smith's episodes. So oh, okay. <laughs> I kind of both really did watch the regeneration of him turning into uh, Peter's actor invention instead. So I can't really say. Okay, all right, fair enough. <laughs> um. So has, has has any of you gone to any Doctor Who locations before? Um. Well, as I many because I live in South Wales, it's very easy for me to get anyway. I so, I think did I don't know if we talked about the locations when we did our last one, Carl? Did we? Um. I did say like or I've at least ninety percent of torturous films where I live. At least I recognise over ninety percent of the locations. Yeah. They use in that show, and there's a lot of like areas I've been to where they filmed a lot of the other episodes, bits here and there. Yeah, so yeah. Do you have any favorites? Oh, well, Cardiff is definitely an iconic one, <laughs> and it's the most famous one. And it's the one I've definitely most been to many times because I go to Cardiff on a regular basis most of the time. So, you know, the bay and other locations nearby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, they, apparently the trap street from um, Face the Raven is in Cardiff. Yeah, no, like I, I, I've, I've been down that one. Yes, oh, yeah. you've been down it. Yeah. What's it like? Um, well, it's not. It doesn't look like the way it does in the show, obviously. No, no, it might look like what so, is it really narrow? Is it? Yeah, it's like this love. Like, it just looks like a normal Cardiff, like, street, because I've been through, there's a lot of them in Cardiff anyway, so it looks, there's not much shiver to the others, you, like. <laughs> what, what, what is in, what is down that street then? Like, what, 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 when you go down the trap street as such, what is there? Um, it's like, <laughs> few places here and there, I don't know how to describe it, it's like. <laughs> is there much there? <laughs> Look at what what once you've gone through. <laughs> I know it's just like a normal Cardiff street. It's not someone who's <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's just like okay. it's another street in Cardiff. <laughs> yeah. It's a, another street in Cardiff. <laughs> yeah. There's someone to me who's a non tourist. It's just like yeah. oh, is this a normal street in Cardiff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's someone up of course, you know, I'm gonna be going to Cardiff. Yeah. Uh, so that, that is one of the things I'll have a look at. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's in the main street, isn't it? Like, I, I, I've read, like, it's in the main street, like, I think, of Cardiff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, all pretty cool. Um, <laughs> you got the you know, you got the place where um, the, the 11th Doctor was there as well, haven't you? Like, um, the 11th hour, like, um, Home of Amy Pond is all in Cardiff. Oh really? Yeah, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know which one. It took me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I, was, my mind's gone for the episode. Yeah. Then it's like, oh yeah. The eleventh hour. Yeah. And I think it was also the same place as when you know, um, the Dream Lord episode. 
Yes. Oh, yeah, that's Moldavia. Yeah. yeah. I don't visit them as much. I'm always in the big city a lot of the time. Yeah. 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 But, um, yeah, it's like, I think you got somewhere will be little, little, I uh, met Amy's house as well. Oh, yeah. Like hmm. Yeah. Because I, I, you, I think you see in my book, I mean, the TARDIS book, I've got all the locations in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but when I'm down there, one of them I really want to do is, y- you know, um, you know the the girl in the fireplace episode. Yeah. I want to go down to the gardens. Um, y- y- you know where the, the scene where the temp doctor was outside and like out on the grass. Yeah, I yeah. think I've been there once years ago. Once very young. I don't think I never did we visit it. No, I was only go there for. Do a little Doctor Who video. Um, yeah. <laughs> re- recreating it and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yours, you, you could be all day naming locations, but another one is, um, you know, the Waters of Mars, the uh, the um, Garden Centre. Right. I that's in Swansea. It might be in Swansea. Maybe. Sure. There's a lot of is a lot of his filmed in South Wales. <laughs> yeah, Cardiff Swansea. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, have you been into the library? Life of the library episodes. Oh. By I don't know. Buster Narada. <laughs> I don't think I have because I don't actively go looking for like that. Right. So. Okay. Yeah. I look for comic book stores, not libraries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think that's in Swansea too. Yeah. But, but yeah, like, um, so so you, your favorite is Cardiff Bay. Where, 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 you, yeah. Like, yeah. I love the bay. Is nice. it really nice at night time? Oh yeah, it's brilliant actually. Cause I I I I think only been there down night time a few times, so not as much as daytime, but it's like really nice. Yeah. The atmosphere, all the light and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to do some. Uh, I'll have to stay there uh, really late. <laughs> yeah, but oh yeah, I'm I'm forgetting the beach. Um, aren't I? <laughs> I'm forgetting the beach where like David and Tennant and Rose were. Yeah, because they filmed the David and Tennant one, and they filmed the uh, dinosaur on spaceship. Yeah, beach. That's the same one, wasn't it? Yeah, same beach. Yeah. Did you watch Doctor Who Flux, Chandler and Carl? I did, yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh. I, I've also watched it myself. Hey, you watched it. Um, <laughs> do you remember when the Doctor turned into a Whipping Angel? Yeah, that was shrieking to see. Yeah. It was like, I, it was like, what? Huh? huh? <laughs> bit confusing but interesting it's like i don't know where she's just a weeping angel it's like okay then this is happening now <laughs> yeah that um that beach is actually in cardiff too i think nice. uh, <laughs> only because i looked it up I, I i wasn't in looking it up intentionally yeah it just came up <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's not my top top list but if i'm nearby maybe <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, what did you guys think of that Doctor Who flux? I definitely always think it was the best of the Geordie seasons that yeah. he'd done. It, it was, wasn't it? It, yeah. it? it was one of probably the best, um, mm. I think. I did. It, it seemed rushed at parts, but. Yeah. I suppose some of that was because of COVID. Yeah, it was definitely done during COVID because that's why it's probably much like shorter and the way they done it. So yeah. they could get something done. Yeah. While COVID was happening. Yes. Yeah, it's good something that was done. Yeah. Yeah. Um do you like do, do you have any episodes in Doctor Who that you don't like at all? Um <laughs> I might have so, said this to you before. I don't remember. <laughs> I think you've most from a Geordie's. Yeah. First, 
like the little I forgot what I think that a short thing that you're having on the spaceship I found that episode was one of the worst ones personally. Yeah, the little creatures eating everything on the ship. What the Bating one? I think that was it. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Are you scared of it? No, I just like. <laughs> I thought it was like just not a good episode personally. Yeah, no, it wasn't that great, was it? No. <laughs> Yeah, it weren't the best. Um, um, do you think we'll get an announcement from Matt Smith for 60th, Carl? Oh, um, it seems likely because I've, you know, we got David back, and I definitely think Matt is like, we'll definitely come back as well. Yeah. At the very least, we're we'll getting them two alongside. Yeah, do you think we'll get it like later on, like an announcement of him? <laughs> Depends whether things get leaked first or not, or Matt says something, or... Yeah. yeah. He's already said he's interested, hasn't he, so... Yeah, he said a few yeah. times in the interviews, people have asked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, it would make sense um, for, him, for him to come back as the Doctor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> be nice, wouldn't it? Like, doesn't seem like he's aged. <laughs> no. No, it looks... Like I said... Uh, Looks exactly the same age and Morbius as he did his day for Soul on TV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it is going to be... It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, do you... Um, I don't... I'm not sure we did. Did we get Shooty Gatwa announced when we did our episode, boys? Yeah, I think so. That they did... No. No, I'm not too sure, actually. I don't think we did. I think maybe it was revealed a little bit after. I think it literally was revealed yeah. after. We yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> well, what do you think of the, the announcement I showed you as Doctor? Well, he definitely would be a doctor I would recognise before he's a doctor because I know from sex education. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it would be the first doctor. But like, oh, i actually seen this one in someone else before the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about you, Chandler? Uh, pardon? For, what about you? For uh, for what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Shoot your gut worse, doctor. Uh, uh, I think you may have to go apart. Uh, 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 I wasn't really listening that much. Sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. We were just saying about, like, how. Well, we're looking forward for Shooty Gatwood to be Doctor. Because yeah. he's an outfit, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so do you think do you think David Tennant will re- 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 regenerate from Jody? Yeah, that's a lot of people are theorising that because, like, first off, he's got a different Sonic, a different suit. <laughs> but... Again, the, the kids will be 10, he just has different gear for the Pacific Special. But at yeah. the same time, the Doctor can choose a face apparently because he chose Capaldi's face, so they could easily do that. It is the 14th Doctor's body, and then the one after is the 15th, which is the new one. So anything's possible with Doctor Who, that's all I say. Yeah, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um... To see if that could happen. Yeah. I am... It, it's very exciting, isn't it, to see what happens onwards. Yeah, no, definitely, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so guys, like, I think we did... We, we, we both spoke about last time about how autism kind of links into Doctor Who. Um, mm. But do you think it is... Um, like, do, do, do you think it really helps, like, like um, meet new people, like, who are, who have, doesn't matter if they have autism or not, but, like, do, do you think it, like, it, it keeps us relaxed when we're watching Doctor Who? Like, comfort show? I definitely think it helps us, because, like, a lot of my friends enjoy similar things as me. So yeah. Star Wars, Marvel, Doctor Who. So it's nice when you meet someone who has a similar interest. I could just talk hours and hours about it. 
doesn't matter whether they have autism or not, but when you have autism, you have all these things you love and you can talk to someone else. But all these things you love, you have that connection over something you both enjoy then. It's really like nice to meet people and connect over things you'll enjoy no matter what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Mm. Like, um, I, I, I didn't think so many people who had autism, have autism, would like the same thing. Like, it's quite crazy, isn't it? Like, they think about it, like, so many people out there have autism and love Doctor Who. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, for Doctor Who, it is definitely a great thing to show as well, because when, even if, like, when you, when you go abroad as well, like, like across somewhere in the UK, I mean, she can always, like, watch Doctor Who, like, on BBC One, whenever mm. you can. Even on Legend, you can watch, like, classic hot uh, Doctor Who episodes as well. Uh, but I do think if you do go abroad as well, there's always going to be the BBC service available where you can easily watch Doctor Who abroad as well, like here, for America, you can watch it there. Because they always stream, they always show Doctor Who at the same time as they do here in the UK, which is uh, quite surprising how amazing it is. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? What do you guys think about Doctor Who potentially going on Disney Plus? What do you think about that? I mean, it would definitely get more people into it because I know they they have a BBC America, but I don't know if they have BBC anywhere else. Yeah. But something like Disney Plus is definitely a more universal thing. So if they do something like that, I definitely think we could get even more people onto the show across many different parts of the world, even more if they don't already have BBC access to anyone else where they can watch the show. Yeah. So I imagine it is quite hard for them to watch it because we watch it before um, people like in America or somewhere else in the world um, because it's based in England, isn't it? Um, and... Yeah, it, it, do you guys remember, like, when you were, we were younger, like, Disney XD or, or like, do you do, do, uh, do, 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 do remember them? I remember oh. Jetix before there was Disney XD. <laughs> yeah, 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 and uh, Dot 2 was on there as well quite, sometimes. Do you remember that? I never knew it actually was yeah. on Disney XD, yeah, if, yeah. It ever, if it was. Not, not when they aired, just old episodes. Oh, Oh, occasionally. <laughs> so it has been on Disney before, but um, but not. But that 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 was more like it was more just a, like it was along with the kids' programs, wasn't it? Um, yeah. The, the Disney XD, but I think I think like 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 people do get worried if it did go on Disney Plus. I think the only pure reason is if it gets owned by Disney, um, because it's not like. Disney is normally on American basis, in it? Like, yeah. like you see on, on on Disney Plus, quite a lot of shows are American, um, and I think I think it's fine that well, Russell T Davis will still write it, but it would just give people more an opportunity to watch it in a, a place where a lot of people go. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just like it's BBC do own Doctor Who, so I guess until so really until the BBC lose loses a contract for owning Doctor Who, they either have the option to like reapply to gain contract gain a contract off the two again, or let some other company try and play and talk to your bit. Because it's like a Queen of Who. <laughs> and obviously there's gonna be a whole film. Coming out, which is because yes. that's open to the public domain now. So yeah, you do whatever, like for Doctor for Winnie Pooh. So, because <laughs> uh, you only have to wait and see until Doctor Who just becomes the open domain. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Like, um, I used to be on Netflix, didn't it? And then it went over to BBC iPlayer. Yeah, you know, I, I think I actually did watch on Netflix before when I was doing the binge show. I watched it from nine to twelve all on Netflix when it was on there before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was hoping they would have updated the episodes. 
Yeah. Um, but they they just they went over to BBC Live Play, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was something on Netflix. I was watching the background, but it's harder on BBC. I have BBC Live Play, but I don't use it as much. Um, at the minute, I use Amazon more. Um, oh. Amazon Netflix really. Um, I don't watch Disney Plus awfully a lot. Um, but yeah, it it would be interesting to see what happens on that kind of side of things. Yeah, I think it, with Disney Plus, it would give options for maybe side shows as well, to because they're known for side shows, aren't they? Yeah, no, you got a lot of stars and Marvel projects coming out with your shows, so <laughs> yeah. Like well, you had Obi Wan Kenobi yeah. series, um, like quite a lot of Star Wars, quite a lot of Marvel. Yeah. But uh, here, here's a question for you boys, slightly off topic, but I I just wanted to know, um, like, do you think Marvel should have finished after Endgame? Endgame would definitely be a perfect, perfect ending, but I'm not gonna complain against more Marvel projects anyway. I'm still going to enjoy and watch them. Even though some of them are being hit or miss, I still enjoy a lot of the stuff they do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely shouldn't be stopping at the moment. Not until we get Marvel Studios for Blade. I have been patiently waiting yes. for Blade. <laughs> yes, because they... <laughs> They have everything now, so they could do Blade, Fantastical X, when they get everything. <laughs> this I'm really no G fan for Blade too, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah, it, it, it's just so on our thought because that they, they could have ended it at Endgame, couldn't they? Um, but, True. But um, it would have been a perfect ending, really. Um after like Iron Man and, and stuff like that. Um but Iron Man can always come back to do his own side show. Yeah. I mean with the amount of times people die and come back alive in the comics, I <laughs> they can do an EMCU, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. If they yeah. really wanted to. Or well since we're now met entering the multiverse saga now, it could be a multiverse Iron Man if they really wanted to do something like that. <laughs> yeah, it'll be enough, isn't it? Um <laughs> One I felt hopeful because they actually did in the animated series Spider Man is for Blade and Spider Man to actually team up. Yes, because <laughs> Spider Man and Blade walk directly in, in an episode. Of yeah. The animated yeah. Series. And uh, Morbius himself is both a Blade and Spider Man villain as well. Oh, so yeah. Could definitely do something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would I would love to see Doctor Who and Marvel team up somehow. Oh, <laughs> I mean, if Disney does get Doctor and Disney Plus and BBC and Disney do some kind of contract, <laughs> yeah. they could do something crazy and well like that. Spider Man. Uh, Doctor Two. With all the Doctor references, that family guy didn't pass, like such as like when the, when David Tennant hoisted voice to ten, tenth doctor because he did that far in the TARDIS and he uh, told his companions to like hold it all for a few minutes because he couldn't find it in there. It was oh just... yeah. <laughs> well then a family guy gags, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. love how they intended actually voice to tenth doctor like <laughs> <laughs> love it. Yeah it, it's good like they do these other like things that you don't expect. <laughs> Yeah. Do you guys uh, do you guys remember uh, the Catherine Tate show where uh, David Tennant came up with it? Was a teacher. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, she goes to him. You look like a doctor, are you a doctor? And makes all these references to the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That, 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 that was hilarious. Yeah. I'm always watching that. Yeah, and then right at the end, it, he he reads in the book like "rose so sweet," and then, and then he's like, "I'm not bothered." Yeah. <laughs> and I think he just uses a sonic on you at the end, then and teleports away, something like that. Yeah. I I I just want 
Lauren Cooper to come into Doctor Who. <laughs> Lauren Cooper. That's a yeah. familiar name. Who's that now? That is her who she played, remember? In, oh. in, in there, that, 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 that's who Catherine Tate played. Her oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. L- L- Laurel Cooper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, do you remember when David Tennant's like, your your reputation precedes you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren Cooper. Um, Hang on, Lil Cooper is a fictional cow here. Yeah. yeah. The full name is called Zane Lauren Chancel Bluebell Jassiel Rosalil Alicia Manchika June Chica Tanisha Felicia Jane Harry Kane Liam Payne Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> a long <laughs> name. I can't yes. even remember. Yeah. But she got that in the next time. <laughs> I just want like because Donna and Lauren Cooper seem like similar characters. Um, it, it'd be nice like with Catherine with Donna if I'm back for the 60th and be like to the Doctor, I'm not bothered. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'd like that. Mm. Yeah. Do you, so. Who do you guys have any like favorite companions in Doctor Who? Oh yeah. I, I said this last time was the Pawn family for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he did. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Chandler? You might have said it before, but we'll just say it again. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably go OG here, but so Jane and K9. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Some of the classic ones. Do you guys see K9 behind me? Oh, yeah, the little teddy thing. Yeah. Love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. <Good> dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they're speaking of K9. You, you, you went to Sarah Jane's house, Carl? No, that's somewhere in, that's like far away, so it's not local. So I've never it been to local? it first. No. What? Uh, how far is it from, like, is it I in Cardiff, that, though? I think that's an England house, that one. I could be wrong, but I know it's not that close. It is in Cardiff, though. No, it's in London, I believe. I think it is London, yeah. It's it, 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 it's not, because that is where you guys are confused. Mm. Because I'll tell you why. Um, because the actual, in, in the programme, it's set in London. But mm. in real life, it's set in Cardiff. Ooh. Oh. Clinton Road is yeah. in West London for Sarah Jane Adventures. Yeah. yeah, that 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 that's in the program. Yeah, it's it's just say for Clinton Road is Mr. Spanamon Road in West London. Mm. Yeah, because you, you have to look look it up. It, 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 it is um, it, it is difficult because I, I imagine lots of people get confused um, because I I I thought that as well. Um, oh, you, know, you are quite then. I do. I do apologize. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what? What's it say now, Chandler? <laughs> yeah, Clinton Road. Blackwood Avenue was also news. Robinson Crescent. Yeah, it was in car. Yeah, it's in Clinton Road. But it's in. I think Penneth or, or, or Pernath. Oh, Penneth. Pernath. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine you know what that is, Carl. I've never been by no location. <laughs> yeah, there so you go. I, yeah. Like I see in the bus all the time with my ears. So yeah. I've probably been, yes, Town Wales. Yeah, I think I've been there probably before. It's yeah, recognize. Yeah, it's around that area. Huh. Um, so, Sorry. yeah. <laughs> so now you know it's not in London, boys. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, because like so it's all it's all locations I've been to and all two lands I haven't been to, which are probably in Wales. I've just never been to. Them. <laughs> yeah, like so many. Yeah, there, there is too many, isn't there? Like <laughs> when I go, I'm sure I'm not going to do every single one. Um, but Sarah Jane House isn't on the list. Yeah. Um, um, like what you can't not miss it. But but yeah, I suppose your boys will see. Where I go, yeah, um, stuff like that. Um, 
but yeah. but yeah, like it's it, it, it it's it's like that as well because the Raven Street was said it was in London, wasn't it? Like the Trap Street as well in in the episode. Mm. Yeah, and that street is actually in Cardiff. Oh, <laughs> so Doctor Who tricks you, boys. Well, he tricks everyone. Like, <laughs> like, because... That's what a show does. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, movie but, magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I imagine you go all the way to London. Yeah, I, I bet some people do that, you know, because it, it, it's not like it doesn't like point it out. You have to really properly look into it, I suppose, to know. But I, I yeah. imagine people go to London, Clint, Clinton Road, and it's like, where's Clinton Road? I yeah, don't... Clinton Road, Penna. Oh, I. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it is in Wales, but in the show, yeah. It's used the... as so Clinton is used as span. <laughs> okay, so it's yeah. used. Okay, I see. So in the show, it's, it's used as, as a, a location, yeah, yeah, as London Street, yeah. but it's oh, actually no. filmed in Wales <laughs> in Penna. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, I think that, yeah, it, it, it's something that 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 would be interesting to go to for sure. Um, even if you just have a photo outside, or it's that it's the house of Sarah Jane, so. You can't. One of the best characters in Doctor Who, for sure. Yeah. So true. Yeah. Yeah. But but yeah, that comes out of a special interest as well because, like, if you want to visit locations of shows or Doctor Who, for example, it's quite interesting, isn't it? It's only literally a forty-minute drive from where I live. Fourteen or forty. Forty. Right. I'd be over two hours by train. Since I don't drive. <laughs> uh, maybe if I early morning. <laughs> or, yeah. or, if you, or, if, or if you know someone who can uh, take you. Okay. Oh, no, wait. I think it's because it's the time is late now. Because normally, yeah, if it's... Yeah, because it's less than two hours if I take it tomorrow. But I'm not going to time now. It'll be over two hours. <laughs> late <Yeah>. the trains. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's... Yeah, you get all those stuff in Cardiff and... There. Yeah. <laughs> um, and poor me and Chanda, we don't, uh, we don't have much, do we? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'd say now, I did visit a few. I visited a few, but not in yeah. not in Cardiff. No, um, I actually went to the Stone Edge recently, one of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I um, saw. Yeah. And, I, and I was like, dude, you have to do the speech yeah. if, yeah. You, if you were there. <laughs> Please tell me you've done the speech. No. <laughs> I am talking. <laughs> I, I, I didn't do the speech. Oh, you should have. That no, would have been I, such a good moment. No, I did really. I just haven't shared it yet. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's in my drafts. Yeah. Um, I suppose because all the Doctor announcements and, like, of course, look for past I haven't had time to do it, like, share it, but yeah, I, I, I did do it. Um, and it... Well, it looks like I'm really close up to Stonehenge, but I'm not. Um, because I, I, I'm behind wires and stuff like that, um, of course, when you're at Stonehenge. Um, so I went there. I also went to, you know, the Curse of the Black Spot with Matt Smith? Yeah. I went to the location there, but the ship weren't there. Oh, but, yeah. Um, it, it got moved on. Um, about a few weeks before I, before I came. Um, and you remember... The episode, what was it called? Um, the Lazarus Experiment. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I went up on. I went to that location where David Tennant did the piano. Oh, the piano. Yeah, and I was allowed up there. I think the interior shots is a card of vocational in the building. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I think I do recognize it. So I think that one is a card of place. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, I think. The, the the other parts are, but the the church was somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's somewhere out where I went to, and the guy allowed me up there, and it's yeah. it's really small as well. Like to, yeah, to kind of bit. There was only there for two days at this place because it, it was near enough near the end of the episode. Um, it's quite cool because I, I one episode is not in just one location; it's in multiple. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's quite fun, isn't it? Like to know that. Um, like, do you guys have a favorite episode? 
that you've got. I, I, I think you said the yeah, 11th hour, didn't you, Carl? Um, 11th hour is my favourite opening yeah. episode. Your favourite opening episode? My favourite uh, Dalek and Blink. Dalek versus, and Blink. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, said, we thought about the Waping Angels before, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah, that, like, the Waping Angels are still scary. Yeah. Um, Always um, scary. Yeah. <laughs> Don't blink, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you find that scary. I find the empty chord scary. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I know, know a lot of people got scared of that one. I didn't for some reason. I was like six when I watched that episode. What, blink? Like, no, um, empty child. Oh, empty child. Yeah. Mummy, you sent me in. I'm scared of the bombs. Hey, mummy. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you find it strange that it was only the mum that kept saying mummy, not daddy? No, not really, because the kid was looking for his mother. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm yeah. Yeah. yeah, but, <laughs> but, but, but the curious thing was, guys, the dad were nowhere to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> He probably could have just died in a war or something like that, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Um, but but yeah, it it, it like that, that was like abandoned at the time, the location of Blink. But I think now it's in something to, it's turned to something else. Yeah. <laughs> like it would be, wouldn't it? Because it's about ages ago, isn't it? <laughs> Blink. Yeah. Um, no, because like two thousand five, six, five, seven. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they basically went to the season. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they went to an abandoned place, didn't they? Yeah, and then yeah, um, mm-hmm. I do like the Whipping Angels episodes. Can't fault one of them. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, every, every single Whipping Angel episode is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I love them. Like, I'm I'm glad we saw them in flux because it's like yay more content because I like to see the angels and the yeah. I mean, she, oh, that's a thing. So also T Davis never wore for Reaping Angels. It was also Martha and now Chris. So I'm intrigued. Will Russell do a Reaping Angels episode now? He's going to be right there. And what was his take be like? <laughs> I think it'll do a Slovene episode. Oh, yeah, because we haven't seen Slovene since S. Uh, Sarah Jane. Yeah, like, yeah. Last time in Doctor Who, it would have been Series 1. Yeah, Series 1 and Doctor Who. And then they showed up a few times to Sarah Jane. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, because it, it is um it is interesting. Like to bring up monsters you haven't seen in a while. No, yeah, because it, it'd be good to see like uh one of Russell's original creations if he does decide to do that, bring them back. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, so his first series would have been with David Tennant, I think. Um, yeah, it would have been so. Yeah. Um, do you... 2010, 12 years later? Yeah. And then he'd be back. Yeah. yeah. Do, do, do you remember um, the, the um, Dalek in Manhattan episode? Yeah. Do you know that that wasn't actually set in, in New York? Like no. in America? Yeah, I, I know because it was like... They used, I don't know how they done it, but green screen. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I just thought it was set there. Yeah, um, but it's quite interesting how they, how they make this like that. I think the only time you actually did go and actually film Doctor in America is when they done the Matt Smith Silence storyline, when they're like um, yeah. working with the president and stuff like that. Yeah, they actually did go to America for that one, <laughs> and, I, and I think Vampires in Venice was actually in Venice. Yeah, f- yeah, po- probably. I know with Doctor Who, uh, they make anything look like anyone else of the UK. Good, I have to look it up. I'm actually gonna look it up now because I'm, um, Vampires in Venice. I'm actually intrigued if it was actually in Venice now. <laughs> Yeah, because the science episodes were in America. I think they yeah. were in Utah. Utah, yeah, because it was like a very sandy. Yeah, because that um, part of the US. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, 
and you like the cafe in that episode was in Cardiff as well. I think. Yeah, because I think I've been to that one. Yeah, because they used that one twice. They used it for the Clara's last episode as well. Yeah, yeah. As her TARDIS thing. Well, uh, yeah, you, so you've been in there, have you? I think so. I do recognise it because I think I've been in there maybe when I was younger and I went for food before. Yeah. In a place like, uh, like a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I put that on my list as well to go to that. Like, yeah. Fun. <laughs> but do you do you remember the cafe with Chris Lockerston, Boomtown? Like it, it might not have been Boomtown, but like the 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 cafe that they went with the Slovene in. Oh, cafe, cafe. Oh yeah. Um. No. Um. Do you mean the which Slovene episode is the one where she's me? Yeah. Right. When they go in, I think Captain Jack went there as well. Yeah, yeah. I've been there. That was by the bay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been it, a, in Italian I restaurant, still, isn't it? Um, I think so. I, I'm not sure if it's. I think it might be still there. That they, they've changed a lot in the bay. Yeah, they would have. Yeah. Yeah, because love they've. Cause it used to be Doctor Experience there, and now that's changed into a gin bar, apparently. So there's yeah. a lot of things have changed in the bay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it, yeah, because it, it might be there, it might not be, but yeah, I suppose we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right, right right before we like finish off guys because it's yeah. great to have you both back um i'm gonna start with chandler and now i'll go to you carl uh, if you could just if you have like a quote i love a quote it could be the same one you said before um that that you relate to in doctor who uh, i can't really think of a quote unfortunately or a line then like it could be a line that the doctor said uh, uh, I, I think I might have to go to go Carl first. <laughs> All right. Let's go with you, Carl. I think a good line is when Capaldi's regenerating into the 13th one of his final lines is always be kind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, always be kind. Yeah. <laughs> Never if he pays. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I do like that one. Mm. It's... Uh, it's... It's, it it was a really good speech of his, wasn't it? Like, yeah. Fun speech. Um, Chandler, you there? <laughs> yep, I'm in. Do you, do you have one? It could be like a line. It could be something like Alon Z. You might like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't really think of any, any lines. All right. How about if you just give us some advice about autism then? <laughs> Just my advice is just make the world of us around you. Just be yourself. Yes. Uh, always stay motivated, <laughs> staying strong, and trying to be always be number one <laughs> in your own game. Yeah, that's great. Um, do, do you want to add anything onto that, Carl, or do you just, or do you just agree? I agree. Just always be yourself. Don't hide your weirdness. <laughs> yeah. There are people as weird as you out there. So just definitely. be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that, definitely. We all love Dr. Ho and we wouldn't put on any other way with these boys. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. It's great to have you on again. And I'm glad you both enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it's been brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> always like chatting with you. I chat about Dr. Who, one of my favourite things. It's always fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we love chatting with Dr. Who, don't we? Mm. Oh, no, we do. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, guys. You're welcome.